Hi crew. I'm going to be sharing with you, it's not a math lesson for once, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make a Google Form. This is our flip teaching and I want you to have a preview of this so when we're in class and I can be there to help you uh, and you can work with your groups to collaborate on your on your Google Forms, uh, you'll be all set to go. I'm sure you'll figure it out quickly. First thing you need to do is sign in to Gmail. Hi Phil crew12 at gmail.com. Then you're going to go and click on the word documents. From here you are going to click the word create and slide down to form. That has opened up a new form for you to create. Now I want everyone to call their surveys and I'm going to start it off here. We're going to put the title in. I just deleted it and we'll go ahead and put it in. We're going to call it the clean water project because that's what we kind of have been calling it all along and I'd like you guys to put who it is in your group who created this just so I can know but do not put last names please so I would just put my first name and I could put um, I'll put there we go I'm pretending like my family's doing this one so once you've done that, and you'll see what it looks like when that's there, I just want to know who are the members of this survey group. You would click in to sample question one. You're ready to write your first question here. And these first questions that I'm going to show you, I am going to require everyone includes in their surveys. Um, your questions will all be different because you're asking, um, creating different surveys, but this will all be the same. I don't think we should be asking people what their name is. People might not be willing to fill out a survey if they had to type, say, their name and their location. So I think we're going to ask first. We want to know um, where they're located. Um, so we can title uh, this question, where do you live? Question mark. Make sure you use great punctuation for this. Um, and then we're going to put in um, that we want. This is the kind of answer we're going to get. Um, so they can put in text, a paragraph text, multiple choice, check boxes, choose from a list, a scale, or a grid. I think the best thing for this would just be text. Now I was thinking about this as I was looking at that and I think um, we should include this information. Please include your city and city, state, and country. I think it'll be very interesting to hear uh, where um, the people are located who are answering our survey. We want to make this a required question, so you click that box right there. Now there's a next uh, sample two question has now popped up down here because they know we're almost done. I click the word done and we're ready to go. Now you can see how that little um, sub uh, text there shows up nicely. When I'm ready to go to sample two question, I have to go over to the right side to this pencil and click edit. Now that lets me change the question. So I highlight this, get it out of there. And next, I think I want to ask them, um, I'm going to ask them that they're male or female, but I don't want to say it twice. So I'm going to say, please check one of the following. And I hope that they understand what that means. And let's make it multiple choice. And the first one, um, would be male and the second one I'm going to put is female and I don't want to add another so I'm, I'm just going to leave it like this I want to make it a required question and I can click done now I'm ready to go see please check one of the following and they'll know male or female now look there's no more questions to fill in so what I have to do is come over here where it says duplicate. And this last one says delete. We don't want to delete this. I want to duplicate it because watch what will happen. The same question will be down here, but I can go in and edit it right now. My last thing I want to put in um, is please, um, not select, uh, uh, please tell me your age. Okay, so I'm not going to do multiple choice. I'm going to do text. And you know, you can even do a range for this one, um, but we'll talk about that in class later. We could do uh, multiple choice and you could say, are you, you know, zero to 
10 years old? Are you 11 to 20 years old? You can, you can do it in categories like that as well, make it a little fancier. Um, maybe change that. Please select the, your age category. Uh, I left it a text answer, so they can just type it in, and then make it a required question. And we'll say done. There we go. Now I can just continue on this way, saying duplicate question. And I can go on now and ask my good questions, the whole topic of, of my survey. So if you're doing um, your survey on how much water do you drink in a day, um, then you can ask that question right here. Uh, remember, we're going to limit the number of questions we ask, so you want to make sure they're very quality, um, the ones that you are including. Now I'm going to move on, because I know you probably want to make it look pretty. So we're going to come up to the top left where it says theme. Right now it's plain. I'm going to click on theme, and you can scroll through these and see which ones you like. Do you recognize some of these from ones we've had in class? Uh, there's a water one. Um, that could be used, or you could do something very, very plain, um, completely up to you. Uh, try not to make it too distracting. Sometimes a plain form is is really effective. So I'm just going to select this one. Um, you know what? I don't think I like that. This is the Clean Water Project, and I picked a space theme. So I'm going to push Cancel. Well, now you know how to cancel a theme. Um, how about Shades of Blue? Nice. Oh. It's not found. There's an error. <laughs> Cancel. For some reason that one's not working. All right. I didn't want that one anyway. I'm going to do this one. Huh. We seem to be experiencing technical difficulty. Let's try yellow arrow. There we go. Yes, I like this one. Simple. Nothing too fancy. So I'm going to click on the top left corner. I'm going to say apply. Now when you look at the top left, it says the theme is yellow arrow. I'm all set to go. We need to um, talk about some of the um, actions up here. So you would click on more actions on the top right and see, we don't need to embed this. We want to see responses. So we would go to the spreadsheet. Click on spreadsheet. And this is what it's going to look like when all of our answers come in. You can see it will be, um, as the answers come in, it will say, where do you live? Please check one of the following. Um, tell me your age. Uh, and so I'm going to push the word share at this time. We want to be sure to share this. Right now it's private. We want everyone to be able to do this form. Otherwise, they won't have access. So we want it public on the web and allow anyone to edit. No sign-in required. That's very important you do that or else your survey will not work. And you would push save. Okay. Now this gives us a link to share our survey. And this is an important part of it. You need to copy that link. Command C. And I'm going to push done now. And now that I've got the link on, I'm going to go back to our Gmail account. And it's very important that I Actually, no, I can just get the links off there. Uh, when we go to send an email, or we go to tweet this, if I were to email it, the link to somebody, you would say to, uh, let's see, let's send it to myself. There it is. Oh, I'll send it to our crew. Uh, to highfieldcrew12 at gmail.com, uh, survey link. And I can just paste it right in there. And if I push uh, highlight it one more time, I can make it a link just like that, clicking that little chain link right there. And I'm all set. And I can write a message. Here is the link to my group's survey. OK, there we go. We're all set. And you can send it. Make sure we have a link there. Now I could find it again. It's really easy to find your survey. If I go back to documents, again, there's our, our form. Now you can tell because it's got that green box. That means that it is a form. So if I wanted to click on it and get back to it, so you didn't really have to email it to me. I could get in and get it, but I wanted to teach you how to share it. Um, if I wanted to do this, it takes you to this part. It doesn't take you to the actual form. Now watch carefully. You click on form and you say go to live form. It will take you to the actual survey. 
and I can fill it in. Where do you live? Pleasanton. Oops, I'm not typing well today, am I? California, USA. All right, check one of the following email and tell us your age. Yeah, I knew you were waiting for that one to come. You guys know how old I am. There we go. Submit. There, your response has been recorded. Now let's go back and see the response. So if I go back, I'm going to get out of this box here. And look. Here's our spreadsheet, and there's our first answer. It tells you the date and the time it came in. Here's the uh, where do you live. It was a female, and it says your age. Now, again, your questions are going to spread out all the way um, down these columns. Um, but that is basically how you do a form. Now, if you want to go back and edit, you can go to Edit Form. And you're back to the same spot where I can go and add more questions if I want. Um, the other thing you need to know that if you share this link, see at the top of the paper at the top of the page here, if I share this link, it's going to take people to this spreadsheet. And we don't want them to see the spreadsheet. We want them to go to the form. So if I go to um, this part, go to live form, it's this address that I want to send out to everyone. So if you're emailing this to family and friends, be sure you go to the actual form and you take the link in the top window where the URL is. You take that link in order to send it. Well, that's our beginning lesson on how to create a form. We will be practicing in class and um, hope that went well for you.